The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. do when your Vectrex starts to speak to you. You listen! Otherwise it'll hunt you down and beat you to death with one of its colorful overlays. Don't mess with the Vectrex! How's this one not gonna be a good review? Spike is a great game and it's on the Vectrex. What we're doing here is reading the instruction manual where you learn that Spike saves Molly after she's kidnapped by Spud, who is out to sell Molly for heroin. Will you stop getting captured? I might have read that wrong, but the game is a lot of fun. This is like the Vectrex's answer to Donkey Kong, which is of course better than Donkey Kong because Donkey Kong, say it along with me, isn't on the Vectrex. But more importantly, the Vectrex does what Nintendo don't. It has Spike, and this game rocks. Beyond the obvious fact that it speaks to you and has a great fashionable purple overlay, one of my favorite overlays on the Vectrex, it's a super cool game. Your objective is to get Spike up to that key and then into the um, prison cell or whatever where they're uh, keeping Molly. Goddamn key, Spike. Then you get some bonus points and sweet Vectrex dialogue. Spike! Molly! Spike starts off easy and gets tricky. Quickly, the controls are a bit bizarre and actually add to the challenge of the gameplay because Spike kicks to the left and right. Uh, well, Spike fell to his death. And he swears when you murder him, sort of. Maybe not as much as Qbert, but. You can see the control layout on the Vectrex overlay. The far right button jumps, the middle two kick to the left and the right, and the far left one moves the ladder. So positioning your fingers on the controller in this game is, uh, is a bit interesting. While you'll eventually get used to this cutscene in the dialogue, the gameplay just keeps getting better and better. Because the play field or your range of movement is actually pretty small. And you've got to carefully hop on those platforms while kicking enemies and trying to move the ladder around and then dodging that bird that starts to attack you. If you collect the butterfly or whatever that thing is, it stops yeah. the action on screen. That's definitely handy. And the key also starts to move around. I think Molly's getting it on with Casey Munchkin, that's what I think. Over the years, a lot of people have told me this is a good game. It's not the word I would use. But this is a good game on the Vectrex, and that makes it a great game. And it is a great game. While there's a lot of flicker and some slowdown, it's one of the best games on the Vectrex, which makes it one of the best games in existence. Yeah! It's a unique game on the Vectrex, a game system which doesn't have very many games to begin with, and I can't think of any other platformers. I might be missing one, but there's a lot of spaceship and asteroids style games and driving games. Spike is something special. And if you collect for the Vectrex, you absolutely must own Spike. And try to get the overlay if you can, it's great. But by no means necessary, this is one of these games that's pricey if you want to collect the entire thing with the instructions. I've got two people to thank for sending Spike to Classic Game Room. Greg from Pittsburgh and Stuart from Glasgow, Scotland. Thank you for sending Spike. You know what I like about Scotland in addition to the beer, the food, the people, and the weather? 
the Vectrex. <laughs> After spending some time playing Spike, my advice is to have patience. There's no time limit, and there's no time-based bonus like there is in Donkey Kong. So watch out for the enemies, try to get the key, and then slow down time or stop time before you make a run for the exit. You really can't go wrong with this one. It's one of the most ambitious Vectrex games, and I think we can all agree that when the Vectrex 2 is released, with the uh, Sega Dreamcast 2 add-on, that we need a Spike sequel. Spike 2. Still pointy after all these years. The best of classic game room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hypervision album set.